All right, so in the last video, we um, learned about what an RTF file was, how it differs from a text file. Um, and now I want to show you how we can open a rich text file and actually see the rich text in it. Um, so we had the code here before, and I've taken that out. Because we need to do a couple of things. We are going to, um, we're going to use something called a stream reader. On a stream reader object, we'll just call it SR. It's a variable. We're creating a variable that is of the type stream reader. And we are going to say that um, OFD2. Show, actually, let's create one more variable. Let's say F name for file name. No, that's not what I want. It's going to be a string name. All right, and we're going to say f name equals oops, type today um, fd2 dot file name. All right, and we have our uh, text box file name equals f name. Put that in the thing that shows, um, oops, so it's tv file name dot tv, tv file name dot text equals f name. And then we are going to say um, stream reader equals file dot open text f name. All right, so we're saying open the text file um, that we got the name of previously. And then we are going to say OFD, so our, um, well, not OFD, sorry, our um, RTB text RTF. So what we're doing is we're saying we want, we want to add something to its RTF property rather than its text property. So it's going to know that what we're going to send it next is going to, um, it's going to need to interpret as RTF. It's going to need to look for all those little tags that we saw and it's going to need to, um, to put that in there. So we're going to have rtbtext.rtf equals and then what we need to do so sr read to end and um, that's going to read the code from our um, our file handle our stream reader that this text it's going to read it into our rtb file um, all the way to the end so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start this And we're going to open, and we want to open an RTF file because I'm going to show you in a minute what's going to happen um, when we try to open a text document now. All right, so now it's loaded that RTF file. Now, rather than getting that big, long string of stuff that I got when I opened my text file, which is now going to fail, incidentally, I think. Yeah, it's going to crash. Um, why did that crash? Well, because I took out what to do with straight old text. So the next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to look at that uh, file extension and we're going to have to choose how to handle our file based on the file extension. We'll do that in the next video.